Hey guys, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and what I want to do today is show you how to make an amazing Lego personalized name tag. This is something that we use in 212 Steam Lab as a good kickoff to the beginning of all classes. It's a great icebreaker for kids to get to know one another because they're coming from different schools and their different grades and everything else. And this is just a really nice way to make things happen. So, um, what you need is really pretty simple. Uh, the first thing you need for the name tag works out really well is a four by eight plate, just like this. You probably have them sitting in your in your piles of Legos, but if not, I'll put a link uh, for you to purchase these, and I'll show you where I buy them on Amazon when I need to buy them in bulk because um, I do run out. I only have so many of these; I don't want to give them all away. So you're going to need that. You're also going to need a one by eight. Now, for the four by eight, the color doesn't really matter. So the more colors you have, the more personalized the kids can get. But for this, you really want it to be white. Um, and so this is a one by eight smooth tile um, that you want there. And the reason being is that will lead to creating their name that'll stick right on. And the good, nice thing about this is you can always take it off and reuse. And so um, I don't have the kids keep these. We just use them for the sake of our classes, but you can let them keep depending on what your need is. And so what we do with that, um, you need a four by eight brick, a one by eight smooth. I then also bought some of these name tag. This is just a, a magnetic strip for name tags. There's a pack of 10. They use the rare earth magnets. You can use whatever I've seen cheap with just like the pins that you pin to your shirt. I like these because they don't leave holes and they hold up really well and they don't cause any damage. Obviously, um, you need to be careful when you mess with magnets. These are actually glued in so they can't get loose, which is nice. Um, but these work really well. And they come with double-sided tape so you can stick right to the base plate. Um, the last two things that you need is I have a Dymo label printer so I can print and type up their name so it looks nice. You don't have to use that. Sharpie and paper work out just well. But I use the Dymo um, half-inch name tag and I use the size 20 point um, for the words. So you type their name. For me, I've got Coffee Chug already in here. I hit print. It prints it, I cut it, boom, there it is, coffee chunk. So we got that taken care of. Then what you do is you take your, your plate and you stick the one by eight tile on just like this. This is where the name's gonna go for the person. And that is the majority of the name plate. So once you do that, you then get their name. And if you print it, it shows up just like this. And so now they have their name tag. And I just press this on the edges because this is easy to peel it off so I can reuse these time and time again. And then for the magnet, I just peel off the double-sided tape. I stick it right to the back, get it centered, and we're good to go there. Now the fun part comes with decorating. And so I've got a bunch of minifigs basic ones. I like the ones that are not commercialized because it allows them, the kids to think creatively and really think about how they want to represent themselves. So these are the ones that I really, really like using. And so from there, you can just have all your different assortments of things that you have from your Lego minifig. Um, I just went to the pile and pulled out a bunch of things. And so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add the coffee cup. So not super creative, I know. Um, and I can stick him right there. The nice thing is on the back of the minifig they have the holes, so I can stick him right on top. And that represents who I am. And then if I wanted to decorate it with other little things, you know, these little circle pieces, I could add those in for decoration. Um, you know, if you've got ones with letters, you can have them spell things, even though these are a little more expensive. And you can just make it what you want to make it. And so, once you do that, and you have it the way you want, it just goes right on your shirt. And now we're in business. So what I like to do with this when we're all done is I have the kids express and share, introduce themselves, their name, where they're from, who they are, and why they designed it the way they did. Why did they pick the thing? So why did I pick a coffee cup with my, with my coffee chug minifig? Uh, why did I add the colors or things like that? And so it just allows them to have a place to talk about themselves, but just not directly, because the attention is on their name tag, not on them. And that really helps some of your quiet, introvert type kids. So there you have it. Very simple, easy 
name tag, use a Lego minifig and some magnets. And more importantly, it's a great icebreaker when kids are coming together for the first time. It gives them an object to talk and express themselves and share things that isn't the same old, same old. So let me know what you think. Other ideas that you have. I hope you enjoyed. hope this inspires you. And I will be posting follow-up pictures of what the kids create for their name tags in our class. And as well as links to everywhere where you can buy this. And as always, I always appreciate the feedback. Give me thumbs up, like, leave comments, all that good stuff. I always love to hear from you. Have a great day. Stay awesome. This is Coffee Chug.